take time. Your willpower is like a muscle. It gets tired the more you use it. Basically. That's why, that's why when you see people, majority of people, if they binge or they cheat on their diet or they go off track or something like that, it happens in the evening. Very rare does someone wake up and go to town on the biscuit tin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? It is. So, it's it's not true, yeah. Quiet, like, save your willpower. Take all the decision-making out of it so that you're fresh when you do need to use it. It's like, it's all comes down to a little bit of marketing, things like that. You go into shops. And why do you think that right next to the till they've got one pound for a, a big aero bar or a pound for this? It's because you've gone through the shop and go, oh, no, I'm not going to buy the Vickies. I'm not going to buy the Cabris. I'm not going to buy this. You get to the end. Oh, gone then. Your willpower is tired. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's like a mental challenge. You need to go to shop. And like I say, don't go shopping when you're hungry because, you, you know, you're going to make a bad decision. Yeah, and going with the list. Take the decision making out of it. Going with the list. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Even I was trying to explain someone the other day about the the top CEOs of like the world. I think like Mark Zuckerberg has his um, clothes already pre-picked, so I think he'd say he wears the same thing every day. Yeah. But it's because he's taking a decision out in the morning. We don't need to fuss about what you're going to wear. Just maybe even choose what you're going to wear before the night before. So when you wake up, it's there, it's done, and then you can just get on with your day. Yeah, big time. Like I, if I get clients who are kind of struggle out like, oh, I'll do my workout tomorrow I'll do my workout tomorrow one of the first things I'll do is freaking like go right book your workouts in book your steps in book your meal prep or whatever you need to do what you need to get done to get towards where you want to be book it into your calendar like you book a fucking doctor's appointment make it a yeah. non, make it a non-negotiable book it in and work shit around it because if you keep going I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow it's a really really bad habit to get into so just like designating time I don't know if you ever, ever read a book called The One Thing it's like revolutionary if anybody like watching re read or listen to that book 